Alright, well, let's see, make sure. Alright. Recording, I'll step back, hopefully I'm on the video. Hi everyone, Big Black Love here. <laughs> Alright, so, it's uh, October 17th, it's a Wednesday. I uh, just got my computer going uh, yesterday. I uh, appreciate all the uh, uh, comments and uh, I guess you can just say the love. I actually feel missed. <laughs> uh, no, seriously, it uh, sucks not having YouTube, honestly, because uh, my internet sucks here. It's not very fast for playing video games, so I'm always lagging, so that sucks. And uh, Netflix is running out of TV shows for me to watch. So I'm glad I got the, the, the tube, my real tube back. So, but uh, yeah, all right. So uh, we, uh, I don't really know much else to say on there. Uh, uh, and thanks for the condolences on my buddy puppies. Really sucked having to put him down, but uh, he had a really good 10 years with us. He was going to be 12 in December. He just had his 11th uh, birthday in August because we figured he was born in August. So we would have had him uh, 11 years in, in uh, next month or in two months, December. So, But uh, I moved stuff around. I put the S10 closer to the garage and the trailer over so I could put up a tarp so I could work in the rain. And before the wind even came it got ripped down by the little bit of wind that's normally down here so it got pretty gusty the other night so I wanted to wait to put the tarp back up might put one up but look at that beautiful maple changing colors wow and I love this time of season like you look down the street there and just like I said in my video that's uploading right now I really apologize for the shitty videos I keep forgetting I have to stop slow down pause and hold still with this camera when I'm walking I'm gonna admit I'm not gonna walk slow but I'll try to remember to stop and focus and what have ya so here's S10 as you can see the rusty stuff that I didn't paint is getting a little rusty after being rained on but uh, the cross member is cleaned up pretty damn good I didn't do a super duper -de duper perfect job but clean enough I ain't gonna get greasy putting the new motor back in so that's a plus of course I put a shower curtain over the box just to help keep the moisture out and uh, uh, this is the neighbor's house that found out is a, a rental and that's where my Ford truck was sitting and that's where the Ford truck is sitting so let's go take a look at uh, Old buttercream here. I'm trying to think of a cooler name. I'm thinking of calling them butters. <laughs> you know, like from South Park. <laughs> I don't know. Something just tells me it's going to be an easy going truck and butter is smooth and it's buttercream yellow. So, but yeah, this is this is actually the dirty side. Uh, this is the side that was up against the bushes. And uh, it's a trailer special, which basically just means it's got heavier duty or springs and that heavy duty bumper with the ball hitch on it. But uh, this is the cleaner side of what I originally saw, you know, even with the busted out canopy and whatnot. But really, that right there is like the rustiest spot on the truck, other than the uh i don't know if you guys could see in there the seal for the back window is obviously bad because it's silicone and it's still leaking a little bit and then uh more than likely back out more than likely it's probably rusty up here somewhere because um don't know if you guys will see that little spot inside the dash on the inside of the Oh, there it is, a little dark spot where it goes yellow, right there. There's a little spot of rust where it's going down. You see all the sludge and shit. It could be the seal even just right here in this bottom corner. But 
so yeah this thing does literally does not have a dent on the body anywhere that i can find i need to wash it so i can see it better but there's a few scratches lots of nicks uh the rear trims are banged in almost like someone hit them on purpose or pushed the fence over or something and someone set something on the bumper which is a pretty common mistake for tailgates i'm pretty sure that's what that looks like and then um this chrome and then a couple scratches and i'm thinking um i'm just gonna clean it up and leave it be i don't even think i'm gonna touch up the rust spots i'm going for like the rescue farm truck look all right i gotta set the camera down real quick put some wood has to open the hood all right here we go 351 Cleveland uh, pretty much unmolested uh, still got all the emissions and the air pumps and stupid heavy bullshit that doesn't need to be there but honestly the rustiest thing I could tell on the whole truck really is underneath the hood there You know, I mean, it's rusty underneath the truck, obviously, but I mean, uh, you know, sheet metal body wise, you're always going to expect the bottom side of the truck to be rusty. But uh, firewall's in pretty good shape. A couple of these bolts are a little loose, like they rattle loose, or someone tried to take them off in one time and left them. But yeah. And when I was looking around, uh, the hubcaps were in here. Well, there's one on the truck, and then there's these two, and then there's this fancier one. And I'm going to go up to the hubcap place. I'm going to clean this up a bit and see if I can't. I guess it does have a couple dents, but I got a bunch of other rare hubcaps. I'm going to see if I can't get them to trade me a couple of my hubcaps or something for uh, the one that matches these guys. The plain no emblem instead of that super fancy emblem one. So I have hubcaps for it. And yeah, you know, just a just an F100 custom, nothing special. Uh, there's actually some Audio Vox little six inch speakers behind the thing for the radio that he had someone install. And I even get this nice clock with it. I'm gonna get a Ford emblem and put on it, and this is gonna be my Ford clock. Haha. <laughs> No. But that is uh, my $400 truck. The brakes are locked up on this side. Freaking, I gotta, it's all rusty. I just drove it literally from the neighbor's driveway out in front of my house and up to my driveway. Certainly not much, but pretty nice truck for 400 bucks. That's like the probably the nastiest thing is the bent ladder rack on a canopy and the busted window. Uh, and it supposedly leaks oil really bad, which I wouldn't doubt because he said he let it sit a whole bunch and let it sat for like a couple years and drove it and let it sat for a couple years and drove it and the last time he was driving it, it was taking like a quart of oil every 20 miles. So worst case, I just got to pull the motor out of it and uh, replace the seals, which a complete gasket kit is only like 190 bucks for this thing so but there it is it's actually a pretty nice freaking truck i mean it's a really nice freaking truck it's a whole hell of a lot nicer than what i was freaking looking for when i first saw it sitting over there i was telling all my buddies that I'm thinking about talking to the guy and I wonder why it's sitting there because it looks like it's such a straight truck I wonder if it's got a blown engine or transmission or differential or if maybe the side you can't see is totaled out or something and I went over there what was it last week now maybe two weeks ago 
and uh, you know, he came home. He normally gets out of his car, runs in the house, and I was like, "Oh, you ever see him?" And I caught him coming home, and I was like, "Hey, neighbor, let's go. Hey, how's it going? Blah 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 blah." And hey, curious, what's going on with uh, that truck there? And he goes, "Well, actually, uh, not much. I need to get rid of it." And or he said something. Oh, he said. Uh, that it burned leaks oil really bad so he parked it and I was like ah oh, you interested in selling it? He goes yeah actually I have to get rid of it I'm buying a house and uh, I don't want to move it because I don't drive it anymore and I was like sweet so uh, what do you want for it? He's like I don't know like 500 bucks and I was like uh, I think I might be able to scrape 400 and he goes okay I'll take that and I was like ah I should have said three <laughs> And then after I offered, he goes, yeah, I was just going to call up Pick and Pull and have them come pick it up, which is a junkyard, which that truck would more than likely get a couple parts taken off it and then sent to the scrap crusher. So I saved it for it from the scrap yard. Um, and they would have gave him like maybe a hundred bucks for it. So, you know, maybe I should have waited and be like, all right, we'll send it to the junkyard. I'll, I'll give you 300 or 200 and see what they'll give you and hope for the best. But I got it for four, which is a hell of a deal, so I don't really care. Uh, he guaranteed it would run and drive, just leaks oil. And obviously the battery is dead from sitting for three years. And there's only like two gallons of gas in it, and it was bad. So I poured in five gallons of, of fresh gas. And as soon as that gas got into the carburetor with my buddy Mikey jumping it with my old Citation... Uh, it fired right off and I didn't quite let it warm up enough it was still choked and I put it in gear and turned the lights on and that killed it <laughs> but it started back up on its own after that and the next day the battery was dead so I need to go get a battery uh, I think the little bit I did get the battery to go when I was playing with it that the solenoids starting to stick in the starter especially after cranking it for like 40 minutes you know, trying to get it started with bad fuel and dumping fuel down to see if the fuel that was in it was bad or not, which should have known it was. But, uh, yeah, so I guess that's the, the Ford video. Um, so, yeah, later.